Here we have an iMac 27 inch from 2010 era. Um, basically it has an issue whereby it has bars across the screen. So we are going to basically check out what the situation is and figure out how we're going to fix it. So I'm going to turn it on and uh, show you guys basically what happens. So here we have a white screen. There's no chime at the moment and I think that's because there's no hard, well there is a hard drive in it as far as I'm aware but um, there's no operating system. So we see we have the bars here <clears throat> and a flashing folder. Uh, so I'm going to assume that this is a graphics card issue. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it apart, get out the graphics card um, and uh, we're going to do what's called uh, a reflowing. Um, so basically it just reseats the components back onto the graphics card itself. Um, and basically put it back in and give it a test. It's a very very simple procedure so we're going to do that right now. So to get the screen off it's very very simple on these uh, so I'm just going to turn it off and basically you can get your fingers in between the glass here and you can already see this is slightly coming away so you can just get your fingers in between the glass you have to be careful, you can slide your fingers all the way along and um, it's basically magnetised on um, and uh, yeah you can just pull it straight off so here we have the screen off and we see that there are no screws in this um, in the panel here um, so basically we undo those screws which would have been there and then you can just pull this LCD forward you can see and the whole panel will just come forward so we've taken the screen out um, and as we can see the hard drive is floating but we're going to disconnect this because <clears throat> I'm going to put an SSD in there um, yep, it's a bit dirty so we're going to clean it up as well. Um, as for the graphics card, so we are going to take out this section. Uh, that's the main board here. And we are going to have a look and see if we can find out what the issue is there. So here we have the board. Um, this is the graphics card, that is the CPU, there's the RAM modules down there. Um, so we are focused more on this area where the graphics card is so we're going to undo these four screws pop it out and then we're going to inspect it and see if we can see anything um, that is of grave concern but if not we're just going to put it straight into the oven around about 10 minutes um, and then we're going to let it cool we're going to put it back together and then we're going to give it a test so here is the graphics card we are going to just uh, basically take a, a look at the board here see if we can see anything basically a, an inspection of it okay. see if we can see any broken components or anything like that Okay, the other side then. Any missing components? Well, I don't see any missing components so far. Everything looks pretty good. 
so we're going to just clean this up and then uh, we're going to put it in uh, the, the oven for 5 to 10 minutes and then we're going to uh, leave it to cool and then put it back in and hopefully that will then reflow the components back onto the board properly. There she goes. Another thing I noticed was on the heat sink itself you can see here that the thermal paste which is more like a chewing gum, it's very thick uh, it's actually broken and those areas where it's broken means that the although it's it's not a, such a big problem but uh, although they are broken it means that those areas where it is broken there's going to be hot spots on that chip so um, fortunately these are still quite sticky I can just scrape them off turn them into little dough like little balls of chewing gum and then stick them back but we're not going to put them directly back onto here we're going to put them on the actual chip of the graphics card itself so it's in the correct position that it needs to be in it's the same for these you can see here it's broken in the middle that's probably because I've pulled it off of the circuit uh, of the graphics card itself but you can see they are broken in such a way um, and this kind of break doesn't happen when you are taking the uh, graphics card away from the heatsink this has happened over time so uh, we've just taken this out of the oven and I've noticed that a couple of components have actually fallen off which means I've put it in too hot um, and I don't know if actually this is going to work anymore because um, if you see the actual circuit board has lifted up a little bit you can see these little bubbles here which is a problem but we're going to try and rescue it anyway so I've noticed here in this corner is uh, a, a chip with uh, five legs which is missing right here and just next to it this is a resistor and it has gone sideways instead of straight um, I have them over here uh, there is also two capacitors um, I'm yet to find where they are but uh, we're going to put this chip back on there and we're going to um, put this resistor back in its rightful position because it's not touching the pad that it should be let's solder these back on so I'm going to use my needle tip for the soldering iron Now let's have a look at this resistor here, which is slightly turned, I don't know if you can see that, but we're going to just move it.
So it's on, it's not great, but it's definitely on. Okay, so now we look for the other three components. So I have found the issue. It took me a while, but because the components are so small, here, right there, half on, missing off of the pad. There's one here missing, and there is where should be a capacitor. So I'll just change the tip. Try and make life a bit easier. So, let's get the uh, next one on there. So that's those two, they are in. Um, and now we look for the last component. Also a microscopic uh, capacitor. So let's have a look on this board here. I believe I've found the final component. It is right here. Right there, just underneath this. There, look. So, clean up the pads real quick, and then we're going to put some flux on there. So, now the GPU is done. Um, I'm going to clean it up and then I'm going to put it back in and uh, we'll give it a test. So I've just put the GPU back together on the heatsink. So we shall pop it in and uh, hope for the best. So we have the motherboard back in. We're going to plug it in now and we're going to check these LEDs right here to see uh, if the computer is responding properly. So we have our first LED which means the power is on or well, there is power coming from the power supply and it's off so we have to do more digging so after a while of faffing it turns out it doesn't work and I think that's because the graphics card we put in the oven we put it in at a too high a temperature although we tried to rescue it I don't think it's going to work so I'm just going to try and take it out 
and see if it really is causing the problem. So let's give it a try now. Okay, so we have a second light, but now we don't have a third and a fourth because there's one one is no GPU and two there's no LCD plugged in. So that means that there is a GPU problem. So the problem of it not starting is because of the GPU. So that means that despite all of the work that we've done with this, we still need to replace it in any case. So that's what's going to have to be. We have to replace the GPU and then we will be able to finish this. So that's the end of that one then I guess. We'll get a new GPU in and uh, yeah, we'll uh, get it working again.